Hey, what's going on guys? It's Banu from Andrew Dollar and welcome to a pretty exciting video on the channel. So this is pretty exciting because this video is going to be an unboxing and walkthrough of a 3D printer. So I had to pick up a 3D printer to get some parts printed for a project that I'm working on called Journal. If you guys aren't familiar about Journal, Journal is a smart action camera. You guys can go ahead and check it out at journal.androdollar.com. For those of you who don't know what 3D printing is, basically 3D printing is printing a three-dimensional figure by using a digital file. So you can design a figure using CAD or Maya or something like that and then get that printed using printable materials. So in this video you guys will get a good idea about the process, um, I will be showing you guys from start to finish. So without wasting any more time I think we should get started with the unboxing because this unboxing is going to be pretty big literally because this box is quite big. So let's get started. So this right here is the Magnum 3D printer and I'm going to unbox this right now. The thing is this product is quite big and it's going to be a bit uh, different to my other unboxings. So I can't shoot the unboxing from this angle. So because of that I'm going to switch to the other camera and I'm going to show you guys in detail what comes inside the box and then I'm going to show you guys a walkthrough of this 3D printer. So let's get started. The Magnum 3D printer by RCS2 comes inside a nice wooden box for safety and the company has really thought about the safety of the product. They have used very high quality materials even for the product box to ensure the product will be safe even during transportation. I was really happy to see this. Taking the product box out of the main package, we will see that the model number of the product is ET8000 and this is the Magnum 3D printer. The Magnum 3D printer is made by RCS2. RCS2 is a Sri Lankan company that makes 3D printers. The Magnum 3D printer is available in red, orange and black like mentioned in the box. The package comes sealed nicely and it has a nice coating of regiform on top. The 3D printer is protected with a cover as well. This cover can be used to cover the 3D printer when it's not in use and this is a very useful thing to have. Right on top there is a box full of accessories so let's dig right into that right now. The first thing we are going to see inside the accessory box is the user manual. This user manual is quite a detailed user manual as it has all the information that you need to know when it comes to using the Magnum 3D printer. Secondly, we have another package and inside that we get a USB cable which is used to connect your laptop or PC to the 3D printer and then we have a power cable which is used to get power to the 3D printer. Next, we have the material rest which is the part that we'll be using to put the filament in. Talking about the filament, that's the next part inside the box. The Magnum comes with a free filament roll. This is a white color 1 kg filament roll and this is a PLA filament. The Magnum 3D printer is compatible with both PLA and ABS filaments. RCS2 has been really nice enough to bundle in all the necessary tools and accessories in the package free of charge so that you know you will have everything necessary before printing something. Everything seems to be of very high quality as well. One of the key things you will find inside this accessory bag is a 8GB SD card which you can use to connect to a computer and transfer files. I will show this process later on in the video. They have also included nuts, bolts and all those other kinds of little things in the box as well so that you can get the 3D printer up and running. I will be showing you guys the initial steps so you guys don't have to worry about anything else. If you watch this video from start to finish, you will get a very good idea about getting a 3D printer up and running. Finally, we have the 3D printing bed along with the platform calibration filter stickers. The advantage of having this is you don't have to apply paper tapes over and over when printing. If you are familiar with 3D printers, you must have seen that we have to apply paper tapes on the platform before starting a new print. 
Instead of that, on the Magnum 3D printer they use a film which will last several times saving your money and effort. For those of you who are curious, the printing volume of the Magnum 3D printer is 200 by 200 by 200 mm and according to RCS2 it's somewhat larger volume when compared to the other 3D printers. Well that's it for the unboxing of the accessories, so now without wasting any more time let's get right into the 3D printer itself. Right inside the 3D printer we will see some regiform to keep the things protected. I'm going to take it off quickly so that we can calibrate it and get started. Once you take the regiform out of the box you can see that you can move the head around. Before we start off with anything we need to fix the material rest which is used to fix the filament on top. For this you have to use the screws that are provided inside the accessories box. Basically you have to screw it into the holes that are at the back and after that there are some more clips where you have to put the wire where the filament will go in so that you have to do that. Then you can plug in the power cable and start the 3D printer. Once it's all booted up you will see that the Magnum has a touch screen. This is one of the key features of the 3D printer which is unique. Next you have to fix the 3D printing bed. For this you have to slide it in and in the 3D printer you have to bring it up in the Z axis so that we can calibrate it. In order to calibrate you have to take an A4 sheet and make sure it is put between the motor and the 3D printing surface. Next you have to make sure that the gap between those two is the size of an A4 sheet. You have to repeat this step for all four corners exactly like this and after that you can move on to the next step. But please make sure that you take your time and do this properly because this is a very important step. One thing to note is based on the filament materials used the temperature setup will be different. If you use ABS the nozzle temperature should be higher than the nozzle temperature when using PLA. For this you have to set the temperature from the touch screen and it will set accordingly. Since the filament that I have is PLA I will set it to match that. This process takes a lot of patience so you have to do it quite carefully. Once the nozzle head has been preheated you have to bring the filament in and put it in the head that's on top. Once that part is done the calibration process is complete. Now we can get into the fun part that is to print something really good. Like I mentioned earlier you can print anything you want. Basically you need to print a 3D object that you like using a 3D designing software like Maya or CAD. The great thing is there is a good community online for 3D printing designs so you can download great designs without too much hard work. The nice people at RCS2 advised me and gave me a good idea about where I can find great designs online. There are thousands of free designs available on the internet and RCS2 recommended one website and I will have that linked right below in the description. After you find something interesting to print, the first thing you need to do is to export the diagram as a STL file. Now you need to use a special software called Kura which is available on the SD card that came with the 3D printer. Kura is an open source software and it is available to download online as well. We use Kura to convert the 3D design to a G code. For those of you who don't know what a G-code is, basically G-code is the final file that the 3D printer can recognize. Kura is able to convert whatever design you import into it into a G-code. Once you select and load the proper details onto the software, you can tweak settings the way you want to get the best results and proceed to the next step. The next step is to plug in the SD card which contains the 3D design. After connecting it is quite simple, you just have to go to print and you have to select the SD card and just hit on print object. This process will take quite a lot of time depending on the use of the materials and the objects that you are trying to print. For this example I went with a small wheel so that I can show it to you guys and this took me around 25 minutes to print. So here's a time lapse of it getting printed.
Once the printing process is done, the machine will notify you. After taking the print embed out of the 3D printer, you will use the tool that was given inside the box to scrape the 3D printed figure out of the 3D printing bed. Once this is done, our object has been successfully printed. Since the Magnum 3D printer uses a film on the printing bed like I mentioned earlier, this can be used several times unlike most other 3D printers which you have to change the paper tapes after each print. This is one of the special features of the Magnum 3D printer. RCS2 is currently selling this product in Sri Lanka and they are also offering great after sales service as well. RCS2 also has filament and all sorts of other 3D printing accessories and RCS2 recommended to use genuine and tested filament with the 3D printer. For more information regarding any of these things you can contact RCS2. I will leave their contact details in the description below. I hope to use the 3D printer to print all the other objects that are necessary for my journal project and I hope to use the 3D printer for my future projects as well. This is a great new technology and I'm happy I get to play with it often. Now with companies like RCS2 making 3D printers and distributing it all around Sri Lanka, it's going to be a great future. At this stage, anyone can own a 3D printer and I think I'm a good example of that. I will leave a link to RCS2's website in the description so you guys can go ahead and check them out if you are interested in buying one. If you decide to eventually buy a product from RCS2, don't forget to tell them Andrew Dollar sent you. Well guys, that's really much it when it comes to the unboxing of the Magnum 3D printer from RCS2. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, definitely go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to Andrew Dollar for more videos like this. Feel free to share this video with your friends and spread the word about Andrew Dollar and the awesome unboxings and reviews on this channel. Also stay tuned to AndrewDollar.com for all the latest from the tech world and until I see you guys in my next video, this is Banu signing out.